Hi guys, this is Tash. How are you all going? It's been a long time, I know. I've been busy and I've been stressed out and busy and I've been, I went away a couple of times and I've got a lot to show you so I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I've been away and pretend that it's just another video. Um, so let's talk. I don't even know where to start actually. Um, I'm out of practice because it's been a long time. I have some whips. I have some haul, I have some finishes, I have a new start, um, I have a UFO, I'll start with the UFO. My UFO is the beautiful C stitch along, basically I didn't check the group, the files are gone from the group, the group owner won't get back to me and give me the files, so that's now a UFO. I got pretty stressed out and cranky about that for a while, um, but I'm over it now. It's ancient history. I'm not going to stress about it anymore because I get too upset about stuff like that. And I've just moved on. It's not a whip anymore. And now I could have another slot in my rotation for something else. Um, let's do finishes. I finished. You've seen this. This is Queen of the Seas. Queen of the Sea by Ruth Ann Russell. Um, her design company is called Sea Street Sampler Works. Um, you saw this all finished except for the sequins, so all I've done is attach those little sequins and now she's all finished. And I might order a frame for her from Frames Online and practice framing an actual piece, um, which I'm happy about. That's good. I have another finish. It was actually a new start as well as a finish. Uh, let me see. Yeah, this relates to haul. So I got some haul. I got my Lowry stand. It's fantastic. It's really good. I love the Lowry stand. It works amazingly with Q-snaps, which is what I was worried about. It was so good. Um, it came from so-and-so in the UK. It took about three weeks to get to Australia, um, but the price is so cheap. I think it's completely worth it. Yeah, so I recommend the, the Lowry stand. It's fantastic. Um, when I ordered from them, I also got this kit and this kit. Um, they're both black work. This is Tudor Rose. This is English Rose. They're both by Leon Conrad. And if you want to order the kits, the it's Doant Water Designs. Um, yeah, I think they're very pretty. But on the day I got this, I did not hold back. I started it <laughs> and I finished it a week or two later. This is Tudor Rose by Derwent Mortar Designs, um, the design of Leon Conrad, and I love it. I think it's so pretty. I don't know how well you can see the golden bits. Yeah, you can. The gold bits are really interesting. It's a thread that's like black and gold mixed together. And then there's a number eight black pearl, all these dark lines around the edges um, and the swirls and so on. That's number eight black pearl. And then there's like a 645 or something DMC cotton for the other bits and I think it looks so pretty so lovely really nice so I can't wait to also do English rose I haven't started yet there you can see those threads pretty well there actually yeah um, I think it's 16 count Ada yep 16 count Ada yep so that's two finishes since you saw me last I'm really happy I love them both I love this I I bought this because I'm in love with Leon Conrad and I've been looking for one of his designs for basically my whole life. So people have been talking about their Holy Grail chart and my Holy Grail chart is Leon Conrad, black work. It's called uh, Medieval Majesty. And I've had a YouTube alert set for that for over 10 years. I'm not even kidding. Um, and it went off. So it was like the day that I started this or maybe two days after I started this, something like that. And my alert went off and it's the second time in 10 years it's gone off. The first time the chart was shipping from America and it wouldn't send to Australia. Um, the second time there was a buy it now price on it and I bought it now. So I got my Holy Grail chart and this is it. Medieval Majesty by Leon Conrad. And I love it. If you guys watched one of Arlene's earlier videos, she's actually stitched this. Um, yeah, it's incredible. I love it. It was expensive. This is really hard to find. Um, it wasn't crazy. 
I don't think it was even twice as much as it would have cost to buy brand new. I snatched this up. I would have paid twice as much. I would have paid... I wouldn't have paid ten times as much, but <laughs> I would have paid a lot more. Um, yeah, 2002 this was. So this is Leon Conrad, Medieval Majesty. And yeah, it's a big, thick, fat chart. Yeah, this is going to be fun. Um, so, I don't know when I'm going to start this. I've got this crazy idea of maybe stitching it. Because when I look at this, you can see the gold, but it doesn't stand out hugely. I thought if I were to stitch this on black with white threads, I think the gold would stand out on the black fabric better. So I'm going to look at the supplies list and see if it's feasible to convert all those black threads to white threads. Yeah, I won't do it now. I am doing it now. Okay, I can't find the supplies list. I'll do it later. But yeah, I got my Holy Grail chart. It's really weird getting your Holy Grail chart. It's like, well, what now? <laughs> like you feel like well I must stitch it right now right I got it finally after all this time I spent all this money on it I should stitch it right now but I, I, I'm worried that after I stitch this I won't want to stitch anything else I mean that's ridiculous that's never going to happen <laughs> it's just a weird feeling um, I've got the one thing I wanted the most I feel and it's sort of an unfocused search now I'm just looking in general for stuff because I've got the thing I wanted um, let's talk about some other, some other haul. There's not too much. Um, I was up in Sydney for a stitching class, um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, it was put on by the Cruel Goblin, which is my local needlework store. One of my local needlework stores. It's a three hour drive away. It's in Sydney. It's a great place. Um, we, we went to the shop after the class and I got a couple of things. This is Swan Garden by Kathy Barrick. I love this. When this came out at Nashville, I was like, yep, that is one of the ones I'm going to get. Uh, this is Needle and Thread designed by Brenda Gervais. So a needle pulling thread. And I think she's really cute. I love her gigantic dress. I love her. I think she's gorgeous. My mum got a couple of, I think she got some Brenda Gervais as well. Maybe or Stacey Nash or something. Um, but yeah. Basically, we, we can kind of share our stash. We have a good situation set up because we both stitch. So we're lucky. Um, and then I ordered this. I was following um, a Russian cross-stitch designer on Instagram. And I can't remember her name. And I think it's probably something unpronounceable in Cyrillic script. So I'll put the name on the screen somewhere, like here maybe. Um, and she's designed this Studio Ghibli cross-stitch. And if you can see that, if you know anything about Ghibli, you'll see Totoro, you'll see No Face, you'll see Calcifer, you'll see Ponyo. I mean, it's just the little Kodamas here in the forest. Ah, I love this. I love this. It's amazing. Um, it's a kit. She even included a little needle minder. How cute is that? I mean, ah, I love this. I want to start this. But I will probably, probably be able to resist because... Another thing I have here is a big pile of things I want to start next year that I'm going to talk to you about. <laughs> this is one of the things I want to start next year. I like it. Um, and that's all of my haul. It's not really all of my haul because I also got Omenic frames. Yes, Omenic. I keep getting Quantum and Millennium mixed up. It was the Quantum frames from the Omenic factory. They arrived um, and they're great, but they're very... I'm using 70 centimeter ones at the moment, and they're really heavy for my Lowry stand, so I'm kind of trying to figure out how I can comfortably work with that at the moment. Um, but the tension on them is incredible. I mean, love. Um, I also got... Um, I've been made a bunch of needle minders. I put in a big order with Pork Chop Show... Pork Chop Shop? Pork Chop Show, I think, on Etsy. Um, and I made a bunch of needle minders, and they're over there, but... I can't really show you just at the moment. I'll show you later. Um, and I got some grind guards from Stormborn Boutique, um, which I can show you one of them now because I have the whip here. This is Ander Forest Crew. This grind guard is from Stormborn Boutique. And I didn't realize that I was actually going to get a matching needle minder as well. Um, this is the Exploding Tardis, if you didn't recognize it. Um, I like these grind guards, they're really good. 
they smelled a bit funny when the package first came, but they're fantastic. They fit so well and better than some of the other ones I have, which are too kind of too big. Um, they're really sturdy. They feel as though they're totally really good washable, like they're almost water resistant at the moment, which is great. Um, and they look cool. How cool is that? Anyway, so here's Ender Forest Grew. I have still been working on this. Um, I think I had one week off while we were up in Sydney for the weekend for our stitching class. But uh, new things you'll see will be this tree, this tree. I don't know if you saw those birds or the bunny. You wouldn't have seen the butterfly or this tree here. The bird and some of these little mushroomy things. Yeah, so the forest is still growing. Still a lot more to do. There's a lot of fabric rolled up here. Um, this is the edge of the second page, basically. The, the top of this tree and the end of this bunny. Um, so this is page 8, this is page 9, or section 8, section 9. So yeah, a lot to go. There are 14 sections. But I think it looks so pretty. Just looks so good from far away, like everything stands out. I love it. Um, I didn't do a lot of stitching in August. It was just, I was had a really stressed out month. I let myself get so upset about that beautiful sea stitch along thing. I just, I just get very upset about things like that. And it's silly, I should just get over it. I'm over it. But it did put me on sort of a stitching downer for a while. Um, and also, I was very stressed about going away. I went up to a simulation conference in Sydney, um, and it was fantastic, it was great, but there's always a networking portion of those conferences, and my dad was with me, he wanted me to, in he wanted to introduce me to a bunch of people that he knows, and that kind of thing stresses me out a lot. I'm an introvert, I don't like talking to people. I don't like talking to new people I don't know. I especially don't like it when my dad's trying to say to them, hey, give Tash a job, she's really smart. <laughs> and I don't feel smart, and I don't feel good enough for a job anyway. So I was a bit stressed out about that for probably weeks beforehand. So I didn't get a lot of stitching done, but while I was away, I did get, I'll show you the picture. Um, this is the piece I took with me while we were away. This is, I think it's called Blueberry Dessert, but I'm calling it Butt Fairy. It's from Neocraft. It's another Russian one. Uh, that's what she'll look like when she's done. This is what I've done so far. Um, so yeah, I just worked on this half an hour at a time when I had time. And it's coming along. I like this a lot. I'll finish it soon, I think. Or maybe I'll try not to finish it so I can get a finish in Year of Whips. I'm going to be doing Year of Whips in 2018, um, which I'm happy about. Because it looks like it's been a lot of fun for the people who entered this year. And even if you weren't successful, it's still good to focus on finishing off those things that you do love so much. Um, okay, that's everything on that side. Uh, let's talk about my new start, which was called the Blackbird Needle Case. Um, it's by Margaret Light. It's not actually cross-stitch, it's embroidery. Uh, well, it's a mixture of like counted embroidery um, sewing and regular embroidery sewing. And it's a needle book that when it opens up looks like this. Uh, can you see the whole thing? Yeah. I mean, how cute is that? I think it's gorgeous. Look at this little, the, the doggy on the hill. I mean, it's so pretty. There are so many beautiful stitches in here. A lot that I hadn't really done before. Um, the surface embroidery is a bit, a lot more challenging for me than the counter embroidery, but it's still fun. Margaret was a great teacher. If you have a chance to go to a Margaret Light class ever, I know she'll be at Beating Around the Bush next year, next, oh, August or October, um, go. She's, she's good, if you're interested in embroidery. Um, so, I didn't get much done. We've got, um, basically what, what we, what we tried to do in the class was to learn most of the stitches we were going to have to use. So, she wanted us to fill in some of the elements that were in the hills so that we could work on the background stitches in the hills. So we've got some stitches there. This one's a satin stitch. This one's a, can't remember, cloud filling stitch, I think. Um, there's some 
alternating double back stitch or something in the trees and some something knots around this. I'm not very informative. Um, yeah, a double diagonal stitch on this flower and what's that? Oh, Moroccan stitch or something? Satin stitch, more satin stitch. This um, acorn was actually padded. There's actually a foam, a piece of foam underneath. And then we padded it with satin stitches on the bottom of the acorn and needle lace on the top of the acorn. On the top of the acorn. Ah, I'm trying to make it focus on the needle lace there. Um, these leaves use this really shiny silk. It's called Soir Oval, which I hate. It's awful. It's just the worst to work with. It snags on everything. But the materials we got are so good. Like, this case is really fun. Um, for the most part, we're using these threads called gumnut buds, which are uh, silk pearl threads. There you go. They're gorgeous. They're really pretty colours. I know you can't see. Um, that's the majority of what we use. We also have a little DMC. And we also have some of these threads, which are called painter's threads. Um, and as you'll see, they're all named after. So we've got Nikki, Monet, Cezanne, Turner, Hopper. And we've got different types of threads. We've got pearls, broders. This is the oval that I was talking about that's really shiny and snags on everything. And it's the worst thing to work with. So I think I'm going to unpick those leaves and use something else. Because this, I just don't have time for that. It's like um, that satiny floss. What's it called? Satine sort of floss? Ugh, it's the worst. It's the worst. Don't even waste your time. Life is too short to struggle with that stuff. Stitching is supposed to be fun. Anyway, so that was really fun. We did that on the weekend, the second or third weekend in October, in in August. Um, my mum and I went. It was fantastic fun. We stayed in a great hotel in Chatswood, right near the shop. And it was great. It was a really good weekend. I enjoyed doing this. I'll be working on it. It really won't take that long to stitch up. I know how to do most of the stitches now after the weekend. Um, I just need to actually do it. Um, the thing I find hard about this is there's not enough seam allowance to put it in a Q-snap and working in a hoop is a bit fiddly and I don't know. But I'll get to it. I like it. I'm very happy I did it. And my mum actually paid for the whole course for me. She paid for the class, she paid for the accommodation, and she paid for my kit and materials. And that was a thank you from her for looking after her quilting shop while she was away. Which was very nice. Um, and that's good because it was a lot of work looking after the shop. Going over there after work until 10pm twice a week was not fun. Um, okay. So, that was an adventure. I really have to say it was really fun. Um... So the only other thing I have left to talk about is new starts because I want a lot of new starts. I've been thinking constantly about my stash and all the things I've got that I want to start like now, like yesterday. And I've got a big pile here of things I want to show you because I think that all of these things and probably more will be started either later this year or early next year. Yep. So I've got Little Hedgy by Just Nan. Um, I have the fabric I need for him, which is just vintage country mocha or something. He is the cutest thing! I love him. And he'll be such a quick stitch. I need to do him. I love him. I want to do him. ASAP. Um, yeah. So I have the fabric and the rest is just DMC. I've got all these little pieces in here that are required for finishing. So he'll be started probably probably next year let's be honest this one tulip festival by brenda gervais or gervais the reason i love this one is because when i first saw her and i still see it now when i look at this her head looked to me like a pterodactyl i thought oh my gosh that is so funny and clever that they've got this traditional looking sampler with a bloody pterodactyl on it um <laughs> i just love it um, so when I stitch this, I'll sort of redesign her head a little bit to be like bigger and crazier and look like a pterodactyl. 
Um, yeah. I love it. I don't have... I've got a lot of fabric that will work for this, but I don't have the threads yet, so... I will buy the threads with my next order from somewhere, one, two, three, stitch, but I've been spending a bit less money lately. I actually have been. Um, I know I got my frame and my <laughs> quantum frames and my Lowry stand, but that was really my tax money. Um, and since July, I haven't spent much on stitching at all. I've been good. Um, oh, I've got news. We're moving probably next month. My brother finally got his offer um, on a house accepted. Yay! So he'll be moving out of that house and I'll be moving into his house, which is much bigger, has an extra room. Um, then I get to pay more rent, which is super fun. Um, and we need to buy, we might need to buy a dishwasher, a dryer, you know, etc. Furniture. So that'll be fun, but that's just a good reason to save money. Also, we're planning for our trip to Germany next year for my other brother's wedding. So yeah, less money on stitching, unfortunately. This one. Is it? I think Tracy P showed this. I've had this in my stash for years. This is um, Terence Nolan Designs. And he also designed um, those beetles or insects um, that everybody goes a bit crazy over on eBay. So this is the Fun Guys, yeah, the Fun Guys collection. Um, and there were a few of these. I remember there was a, a mother and child one and a bride and shroom one. And... A bunch of those, you know those skinny white mushrooms with little caps on top? Long skinny white ones with little caps. A bunch of those. I don't know what that one was called. But this was the one I loved at the time. I'd love to get all the other ones now. But this one is called Shroom Hilda. <laughs> and she is just the funniest. I love her. I love her. Um, yeah. She's the best. She's so funny. Um, yeah, so I think she'll be on my to-do list sometime next year because she's awesome. She's so pretty. I love her. Um, I don't have the linen and threads for her yet. It's just DMC and two water lilies and two colours of beads. And some chronic number one. Easy peasy. Yeah, she's coming. Okay, and this one. It's a full coverage piece. At the beginning of this year, I said there are two rules for me this year. Number one, if I don't finish Firefly Fairies, I will chop off my right hand. Well, my right hand is safe because I finished Firefly Fairies. My left hand. If I start another full coverage piece this year, I lose my left hand. So far, my left hand is still intact, but I'm really feeling it. Uh, I had a huge lay-by um, with Heaven and Earth Designs in the sale probably three months ago. Um, and I'm still paying off the lay-by. <laughs> and it's probably a good thing I am because there are so many things in there that I want to start immediately. Um, but I've had this one in my stash for years. It's out of print on the website now. It's called Wind by Sheila Walk. And I think she is so gorgeous. I love her. See, and she's, mm, she's not huge. She's only 350 by 593. Um, so she's not huge. You know, she wasn't even available on the website when I first found Heaven and Earth Designs. I was just lucky that I walked into an LNS and there she was. And actually, I think seeing her was the first time I'd ever heard of Heaven and Earth Designs. I think she's gorgeous. So she's really uh, calling me. I'd like to finish one of my full coverage pieces before I start this one, because I have four on the go. Um, but this is the one that I want to do. This is the one that's that's calling me lately. Okay, and then I've got a bunch of kits here that we should talk about. Um, Silver Creek Samplers. Um, what is this series called? Doa, Doa Deer? Singer Sampler Series. Yeah, everyone's seen this. Um, Coffee Stitcher did it. Uh, a few other people have done it. I love it. It's so cute. All the charts are in here. All the threads are in here. Um, that is Homespun. 40 count from Lakeside Linens. Um, I want to do it on 40 count so it fits on a fat quarter, but I'm not sure that I'm super happy with that colour. It's a little bit too green. A little bit too green. It might be okay. It might work. You can see it's a lot greener than what's pictured there. It calls for light sand, which doesn't come in 40 count. So I could just bite the bullet and buy a larger piece, but I just picked something that I had that might work. So we'll see. I like that. I will start that. 
I've been meaning to start that for a long time. This is Merchant Mermaid by Mirabilia. Um, I dyed the fabric for this myself. Um, I will be starting this for the Movember stitch along. So yes, I love this fabric. Um, I don't yet have, I have this, the Water Lily silks, but I don't have all of the beads and treasures required for her yet. I will order them when I get closer to finishing her, closer to needing them. This is the Strawberry Sampler. This is by Dali No Steen, The Needle's Praise. Um, I think this is gorgeous. I love it. It's all sort of running stitch, black work if you will, but it's all in different colours. Um, I've got all the silks I need. I've got some fabric that will work. I think it's 36 count off-white linen. Yep. The strawberry sample. Love it. Um, I got this not that long ago in a sale um yeah i really like it i will start that soon um this one is probably the one that will be started soonest this is siren jady by the sampler cove everyone's seen this because i've been talking about it for a year and i think ingeborg showed it and she wants to start it soon too the problem i have with this is it calls for 32 count black belfast which is what i have um, but the chart says stitch one strand over two on 32 count. And I'm really worried that that is not going to be good enough coverage. I'm using silks, the needlepoint ink, and uh, a couple of other brands. No, I need to look. Needlepoint ink, uh, Overa Soir, and Karen Soir Crystal. Um, and the colours are really nice. But I'm worried that one strand over two threads on 32 count is not going to do the job. So I'm considering getting, um, there's Black Forest from Lakeside Linens and then Weeks Dye Works also has a black colour. Um, but I don't know if they'll be properly black and I don't want to order a, an expensive piece. Those two brands of fabric are expensive. I don't want to order expensive pieces of fabric and then have them show up and not be right. Um, <laughs> Um, so I don't know. I think what I'm going to have to do is start it and do some sample stitching and decide what I want. And if I don't like it, one over two, I'll just do two over two and get more silk. It's just money. It's just silk. I can get more if I need it. So yeah, I think, I have a feeling I'll be starting this this month. It's calling me. This is my, my favourite at the moment. Love it. Okay, and... Oops, I ran out of space on my phone. I've only got one more to show you. This is the last one for today. I finished the last drawn thread, which was the stars sampler. And I've been just dying to start another new drawn thread ever since. And this is the one that's calling me the most at the moment. It's called Love and Wisdom. It says, Wisdom tells me I am nothing. Love tells me I am everything. And I think that's a really pretty sentiment. And... I've got this all kitted up. It's ready to start whenever I want. And I love this. And I want to start it like yesterday. Um, the thing I'm thinking though is I actually have a couple of drawn a couple of drawn thread kits that are Christmas ones. And I might prefer to actually do some Christmas stitching um, before I start this. So or I could do both. Put in our last toss, right? Um yeah, so that's all I have to show you. The only last thing I was going to show you was, I was going to show you all the needle miners I made, but they're all down there and it's not easy to show you from here. I was also going to show you, I've been working on Gamer Nouveau um, for the last week um, with my Lowry, frame, Lowry stand and my quantum frame and it's all right here where I can see it, but I've got to turn the camera around to show you. So give me a moment and I will do that. Okay guys, here's the quick shaky cam version of my current progress on Game and Nouveau from Gecko Rouge. Uh, I'm just working on this part down here with the chompy flower. Stitched one over one on 25 count Lugana. And if you don't know what she looks like, there she is. Excuse the mess. 
Um, there's the Lowry stand and the quantum frames. Here's the stitching setup at the moment. It's a bit of a mess, but it's working and I'm happy with it.